Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about changing expressions on a VR chat avatar. If you've ever been in game on VR chat using your avatars and you've done hand gestures, whether or not you're in desktop or in VR, you will notice that your facial expressions will change. Let's say you've bought an avatar and you're doing your gestures and the facial expression isn't necessarily one that you want. It's not something that you exactly like. Either you want to change it, add another one, or just make tiny adjustments to an existing one. That is what I'm going to show you here today. I'm using Unity 2019, but please be wary that this also works with 2018. Nothing in 2018 will be different. All the steps are the same. The avatar we have on display for us today is Bun by Moomoo Baby. And another little addition I'm going to add, considering we are specifically talking about the head, is the head was made by Zinpia. This is Moomoo Baby's private edit. So please, if this is a head you're interested in through the duration of me using it in this video, feel free to check out the link in the description. Now, in order to change a facial expression, there is something that is being manipulated called a blend shape. A blend shape is a morph target animation, basically fancy words for saying that the mesh of a head is being manipulated into a specific animation, meaning that the mouth, the eyes, and the cheeks are three common places where the mesh will be manipulated when making a facial expression. Blend shapes are all subjective to the specific type of head you are using. Some heads will have more blend shapes and some heads will have less blend shapes. So a few example of other heads would be the Tita head that was very common. We have Zinpia, we have Sleepy, we have Panda Bear. There are very many people who have made heads that all have a varying amount of blend shapes, but at the end of the day, most of them have same features, such as eye shutting, smile, tongue, everything that you're going to need to make your basic uh, facial expressions. Now, in order to find the first step we're going to have to do is we're going to need our little animation layer. If your animation layer is not here already, I will show you how. Come to the top to window go down to animation. From here, another pop-out tab will come saying animation animator and animator parameter. What we are gonna need is animation. You could either use the shortcut, which is control six in order to open up the animation tab, or you can drag and drop it to wherever you want. I have mine in the lower right hand corner. That's what's comfortable for me. And this is a layout that I find working for myself when I'm in Unity. If you need to find a specific layout that works for you, please pause now and figure out what is more comfortable. Now that we have that, we need to get our FX layer into our avatar. An FX layer is a layer that is applied to an avatar all the way down here in playable layers, you see FX. That can include things such as facial animations, gestures and toggles, hue shift. It's basically anything that comes up in the menu, the small circle radial menu in VR chat that is interactable for you something you can interact with. So in order to apply the FX layer to the avatar, in order us to start editing that, it is an animation layer, of course, and we want to manipulate the animations, we are gonna come to our avatar at the left-hand side. Click on the name of your avatar and that is all you need. Please do not click on armature, body, or anything in the hierarchy, just click the avatar's name. Now on our right hand side, there is a few tabs all over here. You have transform and animator. We are going to need the animator tab right here. Directly underneath, underneath that, it says controller. Scrolling slightly over here, we can see none. Runtime animator controller. Click that, the little circle, click the very little circle at the very side. Sometimes I forget to do that myself, of course. And at the left hand side, we have another sub menu popping up. This consists of all the layers that is available to this avatar. Now, we need the FX layer. Please remember that. Please try to find the FX layer. You might have a bit of trial and error depending on how your avatar is set up, but find the FX layer. You'll know if it's the correct layer, if it has all your toggles and all your facial animations. It's normally one of the ones closer to the top. Now, now that we have our FX layer applied, we can start manipulating the avatar's facial expressions. 
Looking at the bottom right hand side for me, this could be wherever it is for you, but since you're following along on my screen, you can see in my animation tab, I have all this crazy stuff right here. We aren't going to focus on anything right here. Instead, we are going to focus on finding a facial animation. Now, on preview is right here underneath animation and underneath that is a little tab this could say from anything from jacket off shirt off hue slide ears on it could say absolutely anything depending on your avatars layout again but you need to click that which is going to pull open a menu from there you can see all of your toggles and animations that are attached to that avatar we are specifically looking for facial gestures now you're looking here like i don't see smile or i don't see this for some it might say smile or frown or whatever you may, but for a majority of avatars, it is going to give you the hand motion. Because facial expressions are directly linked to a hand gesture, basically saying if I point, it's going to activate or tell the face to do this. It's almost like a nerve ending within your avatar that doesn't exist. We need to find the facial and hand gesture. For this, it's probably just going to be in one of the hand gestures. So let's do hand open. At underneath animation, it says preview, and we are going to click preview, and bam, you can see our avatar go into this weird little riding bike pose, and her facial expression has changed. If I unclick preview, she's back to normal, and if I re-click preview, there we go, took a second to load, she is right there. Now that we have our avatar ready and to be edited, to have the facial expression manipulated, we are going to look for the blend shapes. Now remember what I said at the beginning of a video, we need to find the blend shapes so we can manipulate them. Now the best way to find this is to go over to this side over here, your left hand side, Underneath armature, most of the time, it could be anywhere in your hierarchy system, it's going to say body. Now this orange outline is outlining both the avatar's body and its head. That is exactly what we need is for the head. Now, to this side, it's probably going to be pulled up 99% of the time. If it's pulled down, then please do not look at this step or if you want to remember. Here is transform on your right hand side. Underneath that is skin mesh render. Now remember, a blend shape is a manipulation of the mesh, which is why it would be under skin mesh render. Pulling down blend shapes, now we get all of these sliders. These sliders is what different blend shapes and is what is manipulating the face of the avatar. So you have squint, blush, you can even give her elf ears, you can do whatever you want to your avatar's facial expressions here. So remember how I told you to have your avatar in preview? Well, this is how we can see what we're doing. Her new eyebrow lower, her eyebrows go lower. Um, we can do sad lips. Her lips turn down. We have, hmm, <laughs> oh, we have like ah, oh, and she, which are a basic animation for almost all avatars, but it's just some basic sliders for you to manipulate. Now, you've chosen the facial expression that you want to change or one that you want to apply. Now what do we do? Do I just change it and it saves? The answer is no. It's a little bit more than that. So, coming down into this bottom right hand corner, we are seeing all of the skin mesh renders that are being manipulated. On here, we can see the sliders that are currently activated, right? So we are going to hit this little record button beside preview. Now what this is allowing us to do is record the facial animation. It is allowing us to save it. From here, you will manipulate whatever you want. So for the demonstration of this video, I'll do something fun like the smug. I think that's a little funny. Now down here, you can see that another body skin mesh render was added, 7.2. 77.3, 77.3 meaning the smug animation was saved. Please keep in mind that it isn't on this specific avatar, but it may be on yours. Please double check so that your animation saves. These little diamonds right here are called key frames. Key frames is the frames of your animation. It's the key, it's like 
the important frame of your animation. Some, if not most, avatars have two key frames for its animation. So if you applied a specific gesture on one side or undid something on a specific keyframe, you have to go to the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, how many other keyframes you are wanting to change and change it. So let's say there was a second keyframe here. I'd have to click this little bar and slide it down to 0.01. There would be another set of diamonds here in which I would either have to undo a blend shape or reapply a blend shape in order for them to be the same. Flipping back and forth shows you normally the differences if you've missed anything, but those two keyframes, if they are there, should be the exact same. Now, we're gonna unclick record and we are gonna click preview. We're gonna take it out of preview, of course. She's normal, click preview again, and bam, there is her smug animation. Now, of course, because I don't want this, I'm going to undo it, but the same thing is applied. Normal. And now there is no more smug animation. You've had successfully changed your facial expression. Now that you've changed all the facial expressions you want and you've double checked, there's also one more thing you can do here. You don't always have to change facial animations. Let's say you don't like an avatar's resting face, meaning the face that you see right here and you're like, I don't like it. I want to change something about it. Now, this is a lot easier than going into Blender, but it certainly does have its limitations. So please be wary when doing this. You can change the resting face with a blend shape. So let's say I'm not a fan of how high her eyebrows are. I can lower her eyebrows. Now this is her resting face. Whenever I go into VR chat and I'm using the resting face, this is what it'll look like for other people. You can already see her resting face is defaulted to a small smile. I could always be angry in my resting face if I wanted to. I could always be squinting if I wanted to. It's whatever you want, but just know you can also change the resting face. It's a slight easier way of molding a face to what you want it to with not really doing that. But of course, it has limitations. Now, before I leave you off on this video, there is one more key step that you need to remember. When uploading an avatar, make sure your FX layer isn't where we put it before. Now, we are going to go back to Bun, where we put our FX layer, the animator controller, and where it says FX. We do not want that there. We do not want our animator still applied to the avatar when uploading. This can cause many complications, such as toggles not working, an avatar's feet being in the floor. It's just not good for us to have it. If you forget it and you don't notice the difference at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, but for the sake of your upload going smoothly and not having to do it a second time, please remove your FX layer by clicking on it and then clicking Backspace. And that is it. Your avatar is ready to upload with its new facial features.